this will destroy your creativity. Procrastination. You're thinking of ideas, but you never go to the easel. You, you're, maybe you're at work and an idea hit, you thought, hey, I'm gonna paint a dandelion. And you get home and you get caught up with other things, with Netflix, with whatever other things, laundry, but you never put that idea to paper, the idea, chances of you ever picking up the idea of ever actually accomplishing it aren't likely. That procrastination on your idea will absolutely destroy your creativity. It will destroy your productivity too. And I do it all the time. I can't tell you how many ideas I've had that are good. I actually really want to draw a mermaid or paint a mermaid. I haven't gotten to, I've wanted to do that for years. I've procrastinated and so you know what's never been done? Me painting a mermaid. Well, no, not since I was a kid. But I, these ideas, if you procrastinate, chances of you doing them are not likely. What can you do then? What if you're just too busy? Or what if you're working on another painting? Because you know I've said this multiple times. If you have a hard time finishing work, always finish everything before you start a new project. But what do you do if you have that idea? You don't want to procrastinate. You'll lose the idea. It won't get done. Sketchbook. Keep a sketchbook on your lunch break, in the morning while you have your coffee, whatever it is. Sit there and sketch. Start working on sketching the idea in those free moments, times that you're not really going to spend dedicated at the easel. Those other in, in between times, sitting in the car waiting to pick up a kid from school, whatever it is, then sit there and sketch your ideas out. Get them on paper. And you can work on that idea the next day. That idea can be dragged out where you keep adding little elements, adding different ideas, adding things to it or changing it, whatever. But you want to get that idea on the paper. And a sketchbook is a great way to go for just jotting, starting to jot down things, but do it as fast as possible. If you put that off, chances of you ever getting to it are nearly zero. The amount of ideas I've had and lost because of that, I can't even tell you over the years. Like it's it's kind of crazy how many ideas that were like, that's a a good idea and it's gone because I procrastinated. So if you can at least sketch it, that will help. And again, I, the one thing I do want to do as a dis, or say as a disclaimer, don't stop your current project to work on the new idea. If you get into that habit, you will end up with a closet full of 20 unfinished paintings. Finish what you're currently have. And one of the great things is, is while you're, you're working on the current painting, but you have a new idea you're excited to do, I use that as, an, uh, as a way to get me to hurry up and finish what I'm working on. I don't mean rush through it. I mean, just focus, sit down, get it done. So, because I want to start the new thing and I'm not allowed to start the new thing until I finish the current thing. So while I don't want you to lose your current ideas because you're working on one, do put it in a sketchbook while you finish the other thing. Keep working on it on the sketchbook so you don't lose it and then go to it when you're done with your current project.